Hi, this is Denise Bidock, and I wanted to do just a quick Fast and Furious look at how to manipulate the views that you have in Outlook. So let's just jump right on over into it. I am using Outlook 2016. This is the desktop version. And if you are using Outlook 365, you will have pretty much all of these capabilities that I'm going to show you, but your buttons may look just a little bit different up here on the top. Most of you may be familiar with the different views that you have that are pre-built in to Outlook. You've got a day view, you've got a work week, you've got the full week, which is all seven days, your month view, and then you've got your schedule view, which will show you all of your appointments horizontally across a schedule view. I typically end up working in my work week most of the time, and so that's where we're going to go right now. Did, I don't know if you've noticed, but there is a button here that says next seven days. This is kind of a new feature, but if you click on that, it'll show you the current day and then six days after that. So you can see what's coming up in the future here for your, you know, if you're trying to plan out and see what's going on next week. But you can also, let's go back to the work week. These calendars that you have here on the left. You can navigate, you can click and you can see, you know, this week or that week, whatever. Um, but what we're going to do is, um, since we're here, let's go to right work today. We're going to click on this. And I'm just going to click and drag down to the next week. And so now I've got a view where I actually see two weeks at a time. And you can do the same thing. Let's look at three weeks. So there's your three weeks. So that, that's real quick and simple to do there. But you can also click on, you can select just certain days on your calendar and you can see just those specific days. So I'm looking at a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they don't have to be within the next, within a single week, basically just looking at the row. I can click on Saturday and I can say, I wanna see everything now until Tuesday. So I can click on just those days and I can see what's going on. But now that you've got this kind of information, now comes the fun part. You can look at, let's see, we're in January. Let's scroll down. I am going to put my cursor down here and I'm going to move this bar on the navigation bar so you can actually see three months on here. But what I'm going to do is let's just look at Tuesdays. We're going to look at like every other Tuesday starting next week. So I'm going to look at, and I'm going to hold my control button down. And I'm going to skip the first. I'm going to click on the eighth. I'm going to click on the 22nd. I'm going to click on the eighth and the 22nd. So I've got all my Tuesdays here, but let's say, well, we've got one off here. So I'm going to hit my control and I'm, uh, let's just pick on the 17th, throw a Thursday in there. So this would be a, not a pattern, like you could put in a calendar appointment that you're going to say, I want this on, you know, every two weeks on Tuesday, because you have a one-off in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here. Let's just click here. I'm going to do a test meeting. And I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hit control C to copy it. And I'm just going to click on every single one of these days. And I already had one done here. 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 And here. So I've got my appointments on all the days specifically that I wanted. And I didn't have to scroll through and go week by week and skip a week and put one in and skip a week and put one in. I just picked my days and just pop, pop, pop just copied them right across. So I hope this was helpful to you and showed you that you can do more manipulation here using your calendar icons or calendars here on the left in your navigation bar. If you like this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so that you'll get notifications whenever I put up new videos. If you have any questions, be sure and leave them down in the comments below. And thank you for watching and have a good day.